Good morning gamers, iOS 18 is here and it is a jailbreak. Uh, before I get into that, let me show you how to actually install iOS 18 on your phone. Uh, I believe iOS 18 supports all iOS 17 phones, so if you're on iOS 17, you can do this. So first, you're going to want to come to this developer Apple thing in the description and head to account. Then you'll be prompted to sign in with your Apple ID, so go ahead and do that. Then you can head into settings and go to software update and then click on beta updates. And then you can see that iOS 18 developer beta is now available. Now, if you're using the DNS that I've shown in the past, um, you'll have to disable that in order to use this. But yeah, you can go ahead and install the iOS 18 beta. So that's how you get it. I'm not going to get it because, uh, you know, I use this phone as my daily driver and I don't really feel like dealing with iOS 18 right now. But that's how you get iOS 18 for the time being. If you want, you can wait for a more stable version when the um, public beta releases in July. This is currently technically just the developer beta, so there might be some issues. And then the full iOS 18 will release um, in the fall, so probably like, you know, early September. So you're probably wondering why I said iOS 18 is a jailbreak. And the reason is because if you saw the WWDC event, it actually copies a lot of jailbreak tweaks that people have been using for many years now, um, and it makes them uh, an official part of iOS. So you can see this guy on Twitter was like all these um, things, basically these tweaks. Uh, the big ones I think are snowboard and control center support. Um, so let's see if I have any pictures here. So you can see you can now um, customize the icons of your of your apps. It's not just like a dark mode. You can make them any color you want. That's been a big thing that people have been uh, jailbreaking for in a while. Um, there's, I saw this like layout of everything you can do. The big thing is um, the control center, the new control center. Let's see if I have a picture here. This post by Brendan Butch is pretty good. He says, this is not a jailbroken iPhone. This is iOS 18. So here we got the control center. You can customize the control center. You can also customize, you know, on like the lock screen, how it's only flashlight and camera. You can change that. And a big thing is you can now rearrange like exactly where your apps are, you know, like how you can do an Android. Previously, we're stuck to this grid shape, but now you're going to be able to, as you can see right here, rearrange it however you want. So basically, a lot of the iconing and theming that iOS jailbreaking currently has um, is going to be solved in iOS 18. Really, the only thing that isn't coming in terms of like theming is like transitions when you flip from one page to another. So now the question is, should you update or should you stay on an earlier version? If all you cared about for jailbreaking was, um, you know, theming, then I'd suggest updating because you're also going to get that new AI. If you didn't see that, the AI is going to be pretty powerful. Um, however, if you're more interested in like the troll store side of things, like the tweaked apps and side loading and that kind of thing, it is probably more worth it to stay on iOS 17, just because there is a small chance, according to this guy right here, who has helped make troll store in the past, um, there is a small chance that troll store will be able to come onto the later iOS 17 version. So like up to 17.4.1. Uh, and later, and that could be possible when iOS 18 actually releases. So I'm probably going to start out by staying on iOS 17 for now. And if something happens with that, then we'll get Troll Store on iOS 17 and all those versions. Uh, and if nothing happens, you know, you can always update to iOS 18. So that's my personal recommendation. If you're interested in the sideloading aspect, I would stay for now. If you're, if you don't really care, you're just in it for like the new features, then I would update to iOS 18 because it is basically a jailbreak. I mean, it's literally just a bunch of jailbreak tweaks are now, um, part of iOS. So that's pretty much all. If you guys want to see more on iOS 7 or iOS 18, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, comment down below kind of what you want to see. Um, I can go through some of the new features that we have and I'll update, you know, after this video. Uh, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.